So here's a video about uh, how I turned a vertical shaft lawnmower engine into a horizontal shaft go-kart engine. I'll go through the various steps that we did. First thing you have to do is change the oiling system. We welded up this slot and a slot here and put a new slot in the top. <clears throat> you have to do that or the uh, crankshaft and camshaft won't get uh, oil properly. Also, friend machined the crankshaft down and put a full uh, key seat in it. Turned down from 7 eighths to 3 quarter inch to fit a centrifugal clutch. Along the same lines, I took the uh, original oiler, cut it off where I'd have the dashed lines on this one, and uh, just made it into a uh, washer for the camshaft. You have to have it to take up the correct end play. Then the engine block itself you have to you have to install a rototiller type dipper. You can see here on the crankshaft or sorry on the connecting rod otherwise you won't get any oil. Now it's difficult to see but right down in here there's a drain back hole. I plugged that with a nail and epoxied it in place. Um, otherwise your oil will drain back out of the bearing too easily and uh, seize up your flywheel bearing on the crankshaft. Next thing was how to mount the gas tank. I just rotated it 90 degrees from where it used to be by building a special bracket. I'll pull the gas tank off to show the bracket a little better. There, you can see the bracket there. You now it mounts, it's welded to the cutoff uh, part that normally holds your throttle linkage. And then so it's mounted with uh, four head bolts. And I also made a mount here on the one uh, magneto bolt just to give it some steadiness uh, since it gets so long on the front there and the gas tank just slides on the one bolt onto the intake manifold and uses the one bolt at the front and then uh, this little part here was part of the existing piece that I cut off and I welded a uh, part on there to hold the throttle cable since we used it as a go-kart. The other thing I'd recommend there's your standard go-kart, or sorry, uh, lawnmower flywheel. I'd recommend going with a with a rototiller type flywheel because it weighs about two to three times as much and a lawnmower uses the blade as a flywheel and uh, you of course don't have that when you use it for a go-kart. So you need extra weight or it'll backfire and shear the flywheel key off. The other thing I did was to make an angle bracket so that the engine, I haven't got it assembled here, but the engine just sits on there like that. And you have it all assembled. So that pretty much entails the changes I found necessary to convert a lawnmower into a, a go-kart or a rototiller type motor. Um, I'll just give you another little uh, thing here. Some people wanted to see what I actually look like, so I'll try to be in front of the camera for a minute. So a project that I'm working on right now is one called, uh, well, it's based on the Junkers Yumo 205 uh, hose piston diesel engine, but making that a Briggs and Stratton's, I'm not making it a diesel, of course. Anyways, this is my cylinder head here. Basically sit like this. Let me show you. Engine block goes like that two of them, one each side. And that's my that's what it looks like there. I'll be making some more videos on that.